Hey frugivores! So today's video actually contains four videos related to a fruit-based diet and overcoming binging. And as some of you know, for a limited time, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one private audio coaching every day, pretty intense, for those of you who want to completely stop binging forever and lose the excess weight without any calorie restriction, especially for those of you who are obese. And I have a past of serious binge eating, which I've already spoken about, before but if you want me if you want to see a new video on this topic then let me know in the comments below and i'm currently consulting people right now but i have one spot available of coaching this cycle so if you're keen let me know contact me on instagram or follow the link below in in the description and we can discuss more about it you're not weak you are not crazy you're not undisciplined but you are undernourished undereducated and underprepared Binging is actually a beautiful thing. That's right, I said it, this is what people don't realize. It's a beautiful thing because it's your brain trying to protect you from life-threatening deficiencies and ultimately death by pushing this urgency to eat upon you. So you must remember that we have a very large requirement for carbohydrates, namely glucose and fructose, the god and the goddess molecules. So if you don't get enough of this sugar, of this carbohydrate into your system, then you are going to binge. Along with fiber and water, very important binge busting trifecta. So binging is your brain's way of protecting you. You heard it here first, it's a beautiful thing. As far as nutrient intake goes, not many people know this, but glucose and fructose deficiency are the most life-threatening deficiencies that you can develop. So the brain must protect you with a binge. I'm a fruit-based nutritionist and these are my five tips to stay overweight and binging for life. Number one, firstly, eat like a four-year-old as an adult. 14 to 1800 calories is fine, even though you'll eat that much in a single binge. Popular diets recommend you eat this for the entire day. Yet the USDA recommends this for a four to nine-year-old child. This will definitely keep you binging. Number two, center your diet around high fat foods. Even though you can eat more than double the amount of carbohydrate at four calories per gram versus nine calories per gram of fat, the goal here is to stay overweight. So high fat foods are a must and will give you a bonus glucose deficiency. This will definitely cause you to binge hard and store fat efficiently. Number three, don't change your diet and eat more carbohydrates. Go to a therapist instead and try to talk your way out of binging. After all, your basic physiological needs don't matter as much as your childhood. Number four, foods without fiber, water, and carbs are your go-to, as they don't stretch the stomach or fill you up, but still give you loads of fat, which adds effortlessly to your fat stores and will leave you instantly hungry for more. It's called fat for a reason, because that's where it's going, to your fat. Number five, pretend there's no such thing as bad foods and try to fool yourself into thinking you can eat anything and everything in moderation. This will definitely create deficiencies that will be met with a huge ass binge. Why do you think fat is called fat? You need to understand this. The fat you eat is already in the storage form of fat, hence the name fat. Therefore transferred from your fork to your belly at 96% efficiency, really efficient, right? The conversion of carbohydrates, however, into fat is 10 times less efficient than simply storing fat in a fat cell. And this is how I lost 40 pounds without calorie restricting. So as your diet gets fattier, you get fattier, you get glucose depleted and you binge more. This leads to more overall calories and weight gain. High fat diets lead to a greater consumption of overall calories because one gram of fat contains nine calories and one gram of carbohydrates contains only four calories. So you get to eat double the amount of carbohydrate rich foods for the same amount of calories. Pretty cool, right? Take this comparison of a tablespoon of nut butter versus a banana. You can see the volume. As the percentage of fat goes up in the diet, so does the amount of calories. So does the weight gain. This is confirmed across entire populations. This is basically how it works. After you eat goddess fructose, she travels on her path, your blood, into the castle, your cell. She takes the back door where she eventually feeds the queen, you. Yep, she's VIP, so she gets easy access. No insulin army is needed to help get her into the castle. When God Glucose travels on his journey, however, he needs a bit more help. So Princess Pancreas, she assists by sending her insulin army and they escort him into the castle through the front gate where he can then deliver his sugary gifts 
to the Queen, you. The problem comes when the Fat Lord gets involved and has such a strong presence that Princess Pancreas, she just can't keep up. The Fat Lord barricades the front gate, making entry impossible for God Glucose, and the insulin army just cannot penetrate and escort God Glucose into the castle and to the Queen. So as a result, too many gods begin to, to gather outside the castle. So Princess Pancreas is now freaking out and she works harder and harder, sending more of her insulin army to help God Glucose. But alas, she cannot win and slowly her and her army are weakened. And the Fat Lord? The Fat Lord wins. Now, as a result, all hell breaks loose within the castle as the queen isn't getting the nourishment, you are not getting the nourishment she needs from God Glucose. So she starts to go mad and the castle is then more easily overthrown or binge prone right? The beauty is once the fat lord is removed, the queen can be fed and nourished as normal. 